To be in STEM and to be a scientist, you need to identify a specific passion of yours, something that absolutely lights you up. Then you need to cultivate that passion and stick with it and see the wild journey it takes you on. It won't be easy by any means. It won't be a snap your fingers and you're there kind of thing. But if you love something, and I mean really, truly adore it, chances are you'll never want to stop. My name is Calliope Speridakis, and I'm the founder of Girls Stempede. For me, that passion is discovery. I just can't get enough of it. Even as a child, as young as three or four, I would spend hours on the beach by my house looking for sea glass. I trained my eye to find things that didn't fit the pattern. Things like the shimmer of a long broken wine bottle or the unnatural roundness of a marble. At that point in my life, my love of discovery was not one that I could really put into words, and certainly not anything more than a hobby. I had no idea that entire careers were built around this deep curiosity that so many people, especially scientists, share. But after locking in on this one thing that I genuinely enjoy doing, I tried to duplicate this feeling of joy in other activities, not just beach hunting. Growing up, I must have embarked on a hundred different activities at one time or another, all related to discovery in some form. But they were exactly that, activities, things to do for fun. That changed when I went on my first fossil dig when I was about 10. I was at Big Brook, a river in New Jersey known for its multi-million year old fossils. I was sifting through gravel and all of a sudden the rocks in my sifter shifted a bit and I saw this beautiful snaggletooth shark tooth lying right on the surface. The tooth wasn't very big, but it was razor sharp, and it was in absolutely perfect condition. From that moment, I was hooked. Since then, I've gone on multiple digs, back to Big Brook, to Florida's Peace River, and even to Nova Scotia. Each one has been an absolutely thrilling, and even at sometimes genuinely dangerous adventure. Each time I go, however, I notice that I am one of the only, if not the only, woman, and until very recently, I knew of no women paleontologists. I wanted to change this, both for myself and for the countless girls distraught by the lack of females in some STEM fields, and the anonymity of the ones that are. Furthermore, this deficit only strengthens harmful and entirely untrue stereotypes about women in STEM, making equality in such fields even more challenging. So I started this project, Girls Stempede, to provide female role models in STEM to young girls. It is my deepest hope that this website will not only amplify the voices of the women I interview, but will motivate more young girls to enter STEM-related fields, and will completely dismantle the negative stereotypes frequently associated with women in STEM.